Um, uh, my name is uh, Emeka Wafo of um, Nollywood Evangelism Oasis Network, Mio. And uh, you can see the gentleman by my side. It's no, uh, can, I, can, can, we, can we meet you? What's your name? Oh, no, my name is Jude Oteka. Jude Oteka. That name rings a bell in Nollywood. Jude Oteka is a prolific writer and an actor. A very good one at, at that, okay? He is very, very deep. You know, when you say that an actor has depth, this guy has it. You know, when somebody, you know, when somebody writes, you know now what will be inside his head when he's acting. So, um, Julie, can we know, you know, can you tell us about just a few of the stories you've written in Nollywood and a uh, few of the movies you have, you know, gotten involved in, you, you acted? Well, I've written quite a number of movies and I've acted in quite a number of films. Uh, three of the movies that readily come to mind are Okochi. Then um, we have um, Games Fools Play. Yeah. And then um, we have um, Money Yab Man, to mm. name a few. Yeah, sure, sure. Those are very good movies. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have acted in some movies. Yes, I have. What are their names? Um, I've acted in this same country. Yeah. I've acted in um, um, like the first film I did, which I can remember. Uh, Evil Man, 1998. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Evil Man. Yes, and there's there's Odom, an epic movie. Okay, yeah. I remember those movies. Now, I know um, you 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 are the writer of the movie Okochi, and yes. you acted in it. Yes. So I want to ask you, what inspired you? What inspired me to write Okochi? Yes. What inspired you to write it? Was the life and time, or let me say the life and tragedy of an infant terrible known as Derico in Onicha, those days. Because if you watch that film, it's, it revolves around the rise and fall of Derico. So that was what inspired my writing that movie. Is there any moral, I mean, any moral, any message? Yes, that, the message there is simple. That you do evil, you reap okay. the fruit of evil. Because that, Derico, was a terror. The name itself will strike terror into you. And he paid dearly for it. You know, so that's the moral, the lesson from that story. Okay, uh, Mr. Jude. Yes. There's a, this notion about the uh, actors. Yeah. You know, both the male and female actors in Nollywood. There's this uh, notion uh, that they are wayward. They don't know God. People look at actors as people who are doomed to destruction. What do you have to say about it? Well, what I have to say is that um, that has always been the notion of people outside of Nollywood. But it's a wrong notion. It's wrong because I have been there and I can tell you basically that it's, it's not true. But you know, like the way some of these actors and actresses behave outside, it simply tells those ones outside, this is what this person is, you know, but it's not true. 
you have good actors and good actors who are morally straight. But that's not to say that there are no bad ones. But there are no bad eggs within the industry. Of course there are. But I'm telling you that majority of actors and actresses are good. You know, like they say in Igbo parlance, that when you dip a finger into palm oil, okay. it's, it smells the others. Like, uh, okay, for example, when I, when I was in school, there's this, this popular saying that of waka, Rutaraman. That is one finger sell to man. One finger sell to man. Or faculty to others. others. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> you know, so that's why the belief is there. That all actors and actresses are, are this way. But it's not true. Okay, that's good. Um, uh, are you a Christian? Of course I am. What's your best Bible verse? And my very best Bible verse is uh, Proverbs 18.16. And what does it say? And a man's gift maketh room for him and brings him before great men. Can you throw more light into, you know, break it down? Well, um, a man's gift, simply put, is a man's talent. The talent you have, you are given from God. When you put into good into good use, it will make a way for you. Like in acting, for example, if you're good, if your talent is in acting, definitely it will open the way for you. And what a talent does is that it sets you apart. It distinguishes you. You know, when you stand away from the crowd, you get noticed. Yes. It's like a diamond. When you're searching for a diamond, a diamond in within in a rubble, the diamond is distinguished by its shining ability. So, with a, ta a talent is just that raw power to to be the best at what you do. Okay. You know, so the same thing applies to other areas of life. Oh. Yeah. Apart from acting, once you have a talent, like Ronaldo, for example, and Messi, it's not that they are extraordinary or different from other players, but they have this talent for football. They exhibit the talent, and that's what stood them apart. Okay. So that's what... That, that, that's good. That's good. Um, now, do you have any word of advice for actors, both upcoming and the ones who, you know, you know, have arrived for the upcoming and for the ones who have arrived? Do you have any advice for them? Well, for the ones who are upcoming, what I'll tell them is patience. Because a lot of people, a lot of young actors and actresses are too desperate too desperate to get up there. So I would advise them to be patient and persevere. You see, when your time comes, nothing will stop it. Once you're good and you have what it takes, keep a very, keep up the pace at the slow, because they say slow and steady wins, wins the, the race. race. Yes. All those people who have made it and gone up there, most of them started like this. The Bible says that they despise not the days of little beginning. Okay. So when you start little, you end great. Don't be desperate because desperation drives people to doing, into doing so many things because they must get there at all costs. So it's not a good thing. Be patient, persevere, when your time comes, you shine. That's the advice I have for up, the upcoming actors and actresses. And be good. Then for those who have made it, 
Don't think because you're up there, the world is down under your feet. No. You know what you pass through to get up there, and you need to sustain your level and position. So you must be good and humble. Humility is a key word in life. Sure. Humility will always elevate you. Yes. So, I agree with you. So you have to be humble. Don't take because you're up there, you've arrived, therefore, nothing has matter. It's not true. Because you can still come down. That's the irony of it. You can be up there one day, you can still come down. So for you to sustain your level and height, you need to be humble. Humble. Humility. Yeah. Humility. Remember where you started. Remember how far you came. That way you be you sustain your height and level. So humility is the key word. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jude. It's been a wonderful listening to you because uh, you have really said something that uh, is inspiring to the youth and to the ones that are up there. Okay, this is where we're going to call it wraps for this very edition of uh, Neo Network TV Gospel. You know, what we do in Neon is, you know, we try to, you know, apply the gospel in our everyday life. We go to places where they are making movies, any kind of place in hotels, hostels, and uh, discuss the word of God as it relates to our everyday activities. Maybe your working place, or you know your, your playground, or wherever, or at home. Okay, the word of God is very good to apply. If you apply the word of God, when it's a lot of yeah, you understand. You have to apply the word of God. Like a lot of things happened this year. You know where people you know got messed up. I heard about the story of a guy. I just dressed up, came out, you know, you know, they, he got into a fight. And as the fight was going on, they wanted to arrest him. The security man had guns. They wanted to arrest him, but his friend said, hey, yeah, you can't. You can't arrest me. And he was a resisting arrest. And somehow he was shot and he died. So many stories like that. If you have the spirit of God in you, don't argue with anybody. Just let the person go with it. Okay, let me not just uh, waste your time. Mr. Jude, yes. it's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. you. Too. And um, this is where we wrap up. If you like what we're doing in Neon, just like us, share us, comment, and follow us. It's all Neo Network TV. Neon meaning Nollywood Evangelism Oasis Network, or call it Nollywood Exclusive Oasis Network. Big up. May God bless you. Wale. God bless you.